What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Mankind. Let's get straight into it. Why are you single, man? The dating world is crazy right now. The dating world is crazy. Nah, you modern women are crazy right now. Shots fired! <laughs> Shots fired! Let's keep it a buck. Right now. Men ain't shit. Men ain't well, shit. Now you're all in big, big trouble. Men ain't shit. And what are you? Huh? That shit. You're the shit. Well, at least you know what you are. Shots fired! <laughs> Shots fired! Straight up. <clears throat> exactly what you are. <laughs> That's why it smells in here. It smells <laughs> like shit. <laughs> what makes a woman the shit? What makes a bad bitch? <laughs> Moral values. Moral values. Mm. So you never sucked the dick the first night you met the woman? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> you never fucked the first night you met? You never had a one night stand? Shut your moral value dumbass up, bitch. I mean, he's, he's preaching. See how bitches they talk, man? They talk. More like orals. <laughs> Not morals. Just one letter difference, but it means the world. It's after they start the dick, like, you know what? I'm no more. <laughs> I'm a Hey, look, man, I know the modern dating scene sucks, and so does getting hurt physically and not just emotionally. Moments that leave you feeling shattered, and sometimes that heartbreak comes when you least expect it, like getting into a car accident. You know, one minute you're driving, you're thinking about your day, and in the next second, everything changes. Suddenly, you're facing injuries, hospital bills, and pain that lingers long after the crash. It can be completely overwhelming. But here's the thing. When you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth absolutely millions. And that's where Morgan & Morgan comes in. They don't settle for lowball offers from insurance companies. They fight for you because they know what your pain is all about and how much your pain is worth. In just the last couple of months, they've achieved life-changing verdicts for their clients. 12 million in Florida, if you're in Florida, 34 times the highest insurance offer, and 26 million in Philly, 40 times the highest insurance offer. Now that is real justice. And that's not just the best part. With Morgan & Morgan, you don't pay a penny unless you win. Not a penny until you win. The fee is absolutely free unless they get you the compensation you deserve. If you've been hurt, don't face the heartbreak alone. Morgan & Morgan got your back like a chiropractor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got the pictures, bitch. Don't worry. I told you, man. <laughs> I told you. Don't fuck with me. That's got to be one of the most savage takedowns I've heard from a comedian. But like the well, and this is this is the whole epitome of like the modern women. The men ain't nothing. Man ain't worth it. The thing is, life is a mirror, not a window. Boo boo. You don't like the results you're getting. Here's the thing. Newsflash. The common denominator is you, not the men. It's you. And like he said, a lot of you ladies don't even go out there and learn how to be the wife that you want to be. Nobody taught you how to go down on a man, but you sure did go and figure it out. Shots fired! Shots fired! No, nobody taught you how to, you know, suck pee pee, but you sure did go and figure it out. Like, come on now. You gotta like start to realize that these women have prioritized the wrong thing. They've prioritized being in the streets. They haven't prioritized being a woman of value or being a wife. They want to just get ran. They're just runners. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> But that's just how it is. Just a normal day for the boys. You gotta love it. Just with the bear. <laughs> this, dude, this guy always comes up with the funniest memes, bro. I swear. This must be in Russia, though, because, like, in America, you get in, ate up. flirts with me all the time. And today he goes, It's hard to find a woman in this town with a job all of her teeth and that doesn't do meth. And so I went, Well, people are complicated. Somebody come get that tea. She oh, ready. I like that. Uh, what they say? Uh, do you support little ghetto bitches that queef? <laughs> hey, yo. What? What? Little ghetto bitches that queef? I've never heard that. Oh, what you mean? She? I get excited. That thing fought on out with a far bag. No cow. Wait. <laughs> What are you I've about? never heard that. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, please I've don't forget. I've never. That is a first, and that was a very good one. Shout out to my guy. Goodness gracious. Careful what you what ask would for. You do if I won the lottery. If you won the lottery? Yes. Think big. Uh oh. Think big. Yeah. I would take half, and I'd leave you. <laughs> Go oh, live wow. on an island somewhere by myself. I really don't like you. Seriously. Well, do I have news for you? I. On a scratcher, won 40 bucks. So you get half, that's 20. <laughs> see you when I see you, I guess. Later, bro. Get 
the fuck out! 20 bucks is a steal. No said That's what she gets. You got what you wish for. I can't believe she actually blatantly said that. That's wild to me, bro. Good advice. Never look at an ex's social media ever. Don't do it. Don't. All my exes, uh, they're sending me signals. Like, every post is still clearly for me. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Smiling in a wedding dress. Nice try. Oh, what a loser. Sad. Sad when people can't move on with their life. It's pathetic. Well, you know what I've noticed, dude? The more bodies a woman has, the more, like, flagrant the wedding's got to be. And you want to know why that is? It's because she's got to go out there and on all of her exes. She has to do it big. Girls that have no, like a no body count or even a lower body count, they don't have to go flex on anybody. Look at Adam 22 and Lena the plug. He spent like a straight million dollars on their wedding. She's been ran. She's a runner. She's a track star. That's why she had to have a big wedding. Boston Marathon mileage. I'm talking 5Ks, 10Ks, 15Ks, 25Ks ran up all in there. On camera, getting busted wide open. It's crazy to me. But this is the thing. The girls that have no body count or that are virgins are, are, are okay with like the very simple weddings, the small weddings, not a lot of people, something intimate. Like Cass doesn't want a big wedding. She wants something chill. But the girls that have been ran, they want something flat, flamboyant and flagrant and over the top because they got to go and they got to go and on all their exes. I think there's a lot of validity in that. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with me or not? My secret to saving money. Hey, brother, preach that. <laughs> they do be expensive. You say that you are a romantic person. Clearly. So what kind of stuff do you do then that's romantic? Finger bang, shocker. How'd that sound? Are you even watching the show? Yeah! 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 Mama! <laughs> I know some of y'all are just here for the hot goth girl. Dude, I love Jim Carrey. That's such a good movie. Find. Wait, 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 Run that back, Turbo. Oh, daddy Wait, finds out I'm a mattress actress. Do you need someone to film with? Come on. I'll get into my rant on this in a second. Let's see what else. Huh? Daddy. Okay, so this girl says she is a mattress actress. Here she is acting on a mattress. And she apparently has been having a similar conversation with men. They probably are saying something like, hi, I like you. And she goes, okay, we can talk. And he says, what do you do for a living? And she says, I am an adult film uh, actor. And then the guy goes, hmm. Well, can I be in one of the adult films with you since that is your only remaining value to me? And she goes, ah, hey, men only want one thing. You just don't, don't get, get it, it, do you? Do you? <laughs> you don't. I love Dr. And I guess so much. that the conversation that she wants to have is, you know, hi, I like you, I like you too, what do you do for a living? I'm an adult film star. <laughs> okay, that's fine with me, let me buy you a house. Hell no! You can continue to uh, make adult films in it. I'll just wait in the cuck shed. I just want to pour all of my money down your throat and all of my future money forever in exchange for... Well, this is where I say women are marketers and men are salesmen. Ladies, if you want men to take you serious, you have to sell something that's serious. You have to dress modestly. You can't dress like a lot lizard. You know what I'm saying? Shots fired! Shots you just can't. fired! You can't wear the mini skirts and be a mattress, actri mattress actress. Good lord. Have an OF, sell your butthole online for $4.99, and expect a man to want to come in and take you serious. If you're marketing 304 behaviors, we're buying 304 behaviors. Okay, are you stupid? Like, like, is that common knowledge? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Like, chat, let me know. Is that common knowledge? To me, that's like a no-brainer. If you're marketing that you're for the streets, I'm gonna let you stay in the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. Like, am I wearing a freaking cape? No, no cape. Nobody's trying to save you. Don't save her. She doesn't want to be saved. Her value's there, so meet her there. Don't, yeah, good. I, and this is why I, I say we got to end the simp because there's a lot of men that'll come out of the woodwork and say, baby, I'll save you. I can be your hero, baby. Don't be a girl's hero. She wants to be in the streets. Let her stay there. For constant uh, humiliation. That doesn't make sense. Someone told this girl that you can do mattress work and still be a keeper and mm -hmm. that is not true yeah. 
I beg your pardon. The sad part is there are plenty of guys out there willing to accept it. You see, and that's the problem is the epidemic is real. And then like, look at this chick's tats, dude. She's got like this one doesn't even look completed. She's got a freaking cow skull on her freaking neck. Like the septum pure. There's so many flags that are all red just in this little snapshot. Like, why would a guy ever want to take a woman like that serious? I hope nobody in the chat would. I know you guys wouldn't, though. You guys are smart. You're than saying that. is 95% of the population is undateable? Undateable! <laughs> then how are all these people getting together? Alcohol. <laughs> it's a scientific fact. I'm looking for is a man. Wait a minute. I think that's Bigfoot. Shots fired! Shots fired! Yeah, ladies, this is the grossest thing. She must work at IHOP. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> this is the grossest thing ever. Please stop that. I like women that are bald from the eyelashes down. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Eyelashes down, bald. What do you guys think? Do you like armpit hair? Let me know in the comments. And who's willing to explore the wilderness? Hello, everybody. What is happening? What is happening? I am lost. I am lost in the wilderness. Go away. Go away. I lost you yesterday. Oh, it's so bad, dude. You can be a stud if you have herpes. You can be a stud if you have herpes. What? The... You can totally still be a stud. I've gotten stier since getting herpes. Mm -hmm. hey, you know what? Oh! You are kind of a disgusting skank. I, I can't. You got something? No, I got nothing. I, I got something on that. Here's the thing. This is why we need to bring back shame, dude. If these ladies were getting shame for this stuff and dudes weren't running through them, but that's the problem. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. So if these women are willing to give it up easily, guys are going to take it because it's tough out there for these guys. Like, it's not easy. Guys just can't go to a bar and just be like, hey, you want to do it? All right, great. Let's go to the bathroom and let me blow your back out. It doesn't happen like that. You can't just go up to a girl and be like, hey, let me realign your spine. And she's like, okay. Stupid. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You have to have a lot of other things. Men create their own value. Women are born with theirs. So women can just go out and just procure sex a whole lot easier. But the problem is, is these girls are going out there and running through all these guys and getting herpes and then giving it and then hoping that the nice guy will go out there and be like, you know what, baby? I know you have herpes, but it's okay. I can be your hero, baby. Stop it. And like, look at these girls. She's, she's a... Uh, She's a lot lizard. She's straight Walmart, like the the back aisles of Walmart grease. This is nasty. Thursday Adams. What is this? I'm so ready for these septum piercings to be out of style. Oh, I'm not even showing you. I'm so ready for these septum piercings to be no longer. And you know what's the new tramp stamp of like millennials in our generation? The new tramp stamp is like this little sternum tat under the boobage. You know what I'm saying? Under the clavage. That's the new tramp stamp. The tramp stamp for our parents' generation, at least like the boomers, that lower back, you know what I'm talking about, the tribal, and ain't nobody part of no tribe. <laughs> what's your tribe? Just curious, what's your tribe? They ain't got no tribe. The new tramp stamp is this right here. And you, I know you guys have seen it. I know you guys have seen it. Steer since getting herpes. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? Super. God, that is so kind of a disgusting awful, bro. <laughs> like these women, I'm so, you know what? I'm so glad they, they should start selling podcast equipment at Costco's so everybody can have one. So everybody can have a freaking podcast and make a straight fool of themselves. Cause these OF girls, this stuff needs to be documented. People need to see this stuff, hear this stuff, and then they need to be made fun of. I just think if we had shame, like there's, we, we have too much of an acceptance in culture now of just being a degenerate. I think being a degenerate is bad. It's like it's like guys out there. There's a guy on TikTok I see all the time. He like makes alcoholic drinks in his car and just sits there and drinks these. Now these drinks look good, but he drinks all the time. And I'm like, bro, you're promoting drinking in your car. That's that's not good. And his face is blasted with tattoos. I'm like, that's degeneracy. Way to get a free drink at the bar. Turn your ring around and hide the diamond. I mean, coming from the bride what? herself, she must know the vibes. I go like this, hide it, it's gone, but it works. I'm sure her husband is really happy to hear that one. It's highly unlikely. Aw, she seems great. Like, be careful. Wow, uh, shout out to her husband. He sounds like a really lucky guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude, but if your girl wants to go out and have a bachelor party, she's for the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. She should just want to get married and not do a bachelor party. Cass doesn't want to do a bachelor party. You gotta always be ready, son. You always be sleeping or not. Hiya! 
That's right. Hey, Ooh. that's my boy right there. He's on, on top of it. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. That's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Ice cream date with my boys. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> He's learning how to deal with these modern women young, but 20 years down the line, they're going to pull this video up and cancel bro for misogyny. And for any of you feeling a little nostalgic for all the freedoms you had as a kid, this next one might cut deep. Oh man, that's good. This is, I remember doing that. I remember doing that. Doing that. See, kids these days don't go out and touch grass enough, man. Stomping the can. I'd put those in the bicycles, the back of the bikes too. I'd do that all the time. Poking the pencil in the eraser. See, I already knew what he was going to do on that one. Man, those were the good old days, right? When a boy could just be a boy. You know, go out there and throw rocks at cars. <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> yeah, I did some dumb stuff as a kid. Threw rocks at cars, rocks at cop cars. I put, we put like, well, the, like when I was a kid, jackass was a big thing. So like we would, uh, we would like ride scooters and then like fall on these scooters in the middle of like a bigger thoroughfare and make people stop. And people would get so mad at us, but Jack, we would jump off. Dude, I remember jumping off churches into holly bushes. I remember doing so many dumb things as a kid that I look back and I'm like, how do I not, how am I not like have broken legs still to this day or can't walk. Cause I was skateboarding all the time. I broke my arm twice skateboarding. I broke my arm, got it out of a cast a week later, broke it again. So stupid, stupid. Like I was a complete idiot. I cannot believe I did that, but you know, it's kind of what it, it is, what it is when you're a kid, that's just what you do. You do dumb stuff like that. So, all right, what is this last clip here? Like there's no hope left in the world. And then Ooh, God, that looks good. You see something like up. this and you go like, you know what? We're gonna be okay. We're gonna fucking be okay. But it's fucking go. It'll get better. <laughs> It'll get better. Um, but dude, that's absolutely crazy to me. Just remember when you were a kid. At least for me, I, I'm a millennial, so I may be dating myself here. But dating myself, where's the mirror? Um, you're stupid. I'm dumb. Um, but for real though, my dildo. But what I was gonna say is, is when I was a kid, I remember my mom saying it's either in or out. You're either in or out. You're not going to be in. If you're going to be in, you're in. If you're out, you're out. And for me, it was out almost all the time until I got to about to the, the ripe age of about 14. And then Halo multiplayer came out and it was online. Boy, Audi, I was glued to that TV like, like glue. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> stupid, stupid. I was straight glued to the TV though. And I remember sitting there. Me and my buddy one night were like, let's see how long we can play Halo. Like we did like, it was me and him. This is back in the day when you could play multiplayer. You could sign in two different people on one console and you could both play. Um, actually, I think we did that, but also he brought his own Xbox and we were both direct in. Like I had the ethernet. Dude, I used to mod Xboxes when I was a kid, like to do the cheats on Halo 2. Either way, another story. We would sit there and we were like, all right, how long can we play Halo before we go to sleep? And I think we got to around 36 hours like a day and a half we were just absolutely exhausted but we got up to like level 38 or 41 just sitting there playing like head to head or i don't know if we were playing what was it ffa free for all i don't know we were playing so many but dude i remember playing halo for so many hours i wanted to be a professional like i wanted to do mlg i was watching straight ripping i was watching the ogres otk k to the arma bro i remember all those guys let me know in the comments if you remember all that i may be dating myself here but i played so much halo as a kid like an unbelievable amount of halo that's why if you become a member it actually shows up at the as like your membership level shows up as one of the levels I don't know. It's just nostalgic for me. I don't know how I got off that rant. I don't know how I got on that rant. But yeah, man, moral, moral of the story is, is if your girl wants a big extravagant wedding, she's probably got a lot of bodies. She probably does. She's a runner. She's a track star. a big lesson from today. If she wants something basic and simple, she's probably a real hometown, down-to-earth girl. Those are the girls we got to go for. I'm going to be coming out with the ebook of how to vet a woman what things to look for, the red flags to stick out, the red, flood flag, red flags that sh should stick out and you need to pay attention to, but also how to wiggle your way into her psyche 
you know what I mean? And make her crave your validation. That's the big one that a lot of guys don't ever master. And I've mastered it. And I'm going to share that, share that with you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, cop the ebook, the four pillars of personality. It's selling like absolute hotcakes right now. If any of you guys have downloaded the four steps of style, apparently there's been an issue on Teespring. Shout out to Teespring for dropping the ball. Um, but let me know in the discord if you've bought it and you weren't able to download it and I'll send you a copy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for 70 K. And I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.